Why are patients not allowed to wear underwear under hospital gowns during surgery? For a start, I know this must have been traumatic. Especially if nobody took the time to explain to you why things are like they have been here. But maybe it will ease your mind once you understand things better. Now, for a start, even if your laundry may have been freshly washed and clean to the naked eye, you do still carry bacteria and dirt with you wherever you go. So one reason for the strict rules concerning outside clothes is contamination by touch. This doesn't just mean contamination of your own wound, but also of the rooms where the surgery will happen, the equipment, and the path there past a certain point. Surgery areas are not any room in the hospital, but kept very sterile and clean. People working in there are not allowed to get past a certain point with their own outside clothes. And they either have to switch to scrubs or protective clothes. Even over their shoes. You are moved here through several levels of preparation with the last stop being the most sterile. The room with where the actual surgery takes place. This extreme hygiene protocol has to be kept in place since even dust particles can contaminate a wound or hair or skin particles you may carry with you on your clothes. For you, all done to you was a surgery on your ankle. But there have been patients in this room before you. And there will be patients after you. You need to be protected from the potential infections carried by previous patients. And everyone coming after needs to be protected from what you may carry with you. And while you are not allowed to carry anything in with you, not even underwear. You are also not allowed to take potentially contaminated clothes outside with you again as well. This means that all the blankets, the mesh underwear provided, everything, cannot leave the sterile area as well. There might be minuscule blood spatters, or really anything, and this is not allowed to get back into the area where other post-OP patients are still weak and sensitive to cross-contamination. So they do remove all that again, and give you fresh things. So, unless the surgery happens in a non-sterile field, which is usually only done with very tiny things such as sutures etc., you will always need to be fully naked below the sterile covers. And you will always have the sheets or gowns changed multiple times. So, it is not likely that anyone just randomly saw you naked without it being necessary. It is protocol to remove everything when you return to the non-sterile area. A second reason is accessibility. There are instances where they might need to insert a catheter to measure how much urine you lose. During a surgery, or when the surgery is longer because urine would contaminate the surgery area as well. Or they need to check for things. Or do emergency procedures. It would take too much time to just cut off or take off your own clothes and also, again, cross-contaminate things. So while this certainly is not comfortable to think about, if an emergency you may be glad that they don't need to take off your street clothes before saving your life. Lastly, it may be little to comfort your, but the nursing staff tries their best to protect a patient's dignity where it is possible. You will have been changed out of the surgery clothes. And they may have moved you from a to B while you wear out. And they also might have cleaned the area of operations while you were asleep. But there was no ill intent. And nobody saw anything outside of a strictly medical context. And even if someone did see things. It is not in a sexual context at all. Most surgeons do only come in when you are already covered up and prepared. And don't stay to the point where you are changed again. The nurses do see naked people every day as well. And after a while it just becomes a job. You don't need to feel shame in front of them. And you don't need to worry about anyone touching you inappropriately. It's a shame that nobody explained things to you earlier. You certainly sound young and inexperienced and should have been told things. But now you know and can go into it better prepared. I hope this could help. It's completely normal that they require you to be naked for surgery. 
Yes, it's uncomfortable, but the surgeons and nurses are there to take care of you and don't care what you look like naked. They've seen everything. I've had several surgeries and it's always very similar to where you're either fully naked or 99% naked. And then guess what? There are things that can happen that make it exponentially worse. Like being on your period during surgery. They give you these big ass diapers you have to wear and then when you come out of surgery you may be laying on a completely different pad or wearing something completely different from what you went in with to soak up the period blood. Fun times. It may seem traumatizing at first but the older you get, the more you'll get used to this kind of thing. Thousands of people experience being naked in front of complete strangers every day for surgery. It just goes with the territory. This was your first time and it's understandable that you're a little freaked out. Next time when you find yourself in a situation like this, like right before surgery, it's important to tell people, I'm a little scared because I've never done anything like this before. Can you kind of walk through what's happening right now? It's always completely okay to tell professionals this no matter what kind of situation you may be in life. I'm in my 50s and I still find myself saying this sometimes when I'm being faced with a brand new situation that's kind of freaking me out. I've never done this before. Can you please explain to me what's happening? Just saying these simple words to people often helps them slow down and be more kind and gentle with you, which can help immensely. Did they put you under anesthesia? Urinary catheters are often used during surgery, as you can't control your bladder while under anesthesia. Some really great answers here but let me add some practical explanations. First, a policy of every patient must completely disrobe for all surgeries is easy to train and implement. Second, many patients are incontinent a bowel bladder under anesthesia. It's better to have dry undies to go home in rather than none because you peed yourself. Next, many people already covered infection risk. Last, I am so sorry your nurse didn't explain and prepare you when you were apprehensive. That's our jobs as nurses and they failed you. Also, healthcare providers very quickly lose all their decency and forget what it's like to be a patient. I am sorry you feel the way you do, and I hope you can recover from it quickly. Your entire body is entering a sterile field and you don't want to bring extra germ into the room. When I had a shoulder melanoma removed, I had to scrub and wash my entire body with their chemical wipes before putting on the groan. I also could not wear underwear or socks because if needed, I would get a catheter. Your underwear is not sterile. They also usually put a catheter in for surgeries where you're under general anesthesia. It sounds like they had to put a tourniquet on your thigh for your surgery. Very common for ankle surgery. Reduces blood loss and makes it easier to see. Part of my job is putting the tourniquet on patients and I never do this until they're asleep. I also make sure it's off before the patient wakes up. Putting them on, taking them off is a daily thing for me and I don't find it awkward in the slightest but I know how I would feel if I was the patient. So I make sure they don't have to experience that. Your clothes, especially underwear, are infested with germs just because it was just your ankle doesn't mean that someone after you is just having ankle surgery. They could be having open heart surgery. Also it's important for people like me who are immunocompromised and can die from just a head cold. Unexpected situations. If the surgery gets prolonged, you might need a urinary catheter put in order to drain your urine. Underwear gets in the way. It's simply precautions against potential complications. Contamination. When I broke my arm and had to have surgery the nurse said I couldn't have a tampon in. Since I had only on arm the other one had bones actually sticking out she took it out herself. I'll never get over that. 
and my mom thought it was gross my best friend took out my tongue ring for me. If she only knew that wasn't the gross part of everything. If the underwear was off when you woke up, you had a Foley catheter placed during surgery that they took out when you were waking up. It's standard procedure in case they need to catheterize or access places quick. Although for short procedures I really don't see why it's necessary but like most things it's just a standard part of prep rather than individualized. I kept my underwear on for a short procedure under GA because I knew I wasn't getting a catheter. For my surgery and the surgical field was nowhere near my groin. The option to cut them was always there in an emergency. Nurse didn't put up much argument. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.